This is a board game with spin wheel part seven. Um, it's more parts than I thought I'd have to do or that I would need to do. But in this one here, we're going in this next section, we're going to try to create it that when they land on another special block, they're given a question to answer. And if they answer it right, they move a hit so many. If they answer it wrong, they move, move back so many. Um, it's a follow-up to that um, board game with spin wheel part six and that's what I have opened on my computer. We're going to start off by making sure all the layers are locked. Select frame two of the actions layer, open the actions panel, and we're going to declare a couple of variables here. So put an enter here and two variables. Type, type, type. Var question colon number equals zero semicolon copy that paste it again make it var my global quest capital M capital G capital Q colon number number turns blue equals zero zero semicolon these are how we're going to keep track of the um, the values to get them back and forth between the scene one and the uh, spin the wheel movie clip That's the only modification we need to make on this frame number two. So we'll go back to the timeline and select frame three, of the action panel, open the action panel. And because I'm going to be doing a few traces, right here where I have this trace my global spin, I'm going to put in a line, type, 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 and it says trace open bracket, quotation, my global spin, close quotation, close bracket, semicolon. I'll see my global spin, then, then I'll see a value, and I'll know that's the trace that I'm looking at. And down here, after this stop button, false, put a couple of enters, and put in a couple more traces. Here we're going to say trace, and this time we're going to trace my global question, Q-U-E-S-T, and here we're going to trace the actual value of that question, my global quest. That's the, the variables we made. Now let's go down past this where we're doing the drop and drag or drag and drop. And in here we're in this function for the check move right after this curly bracket, put in an enter and type 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 now we're going to be checking when the player is told to be on position 10 which is that that step we're going to have the question so I have if open bracket player POS 1 equals equals 10 close bracket there's the open bracket for open curly bracket for this if there's the close curly bracket for this if and I want to say trace 10 for 1. That's, it's, it means that the player has been told to go is on frame 10 and the, they're talking player 1. So you know that format there. And that variable question that we have at 0, we're now going to make that question equals 1, semicolon. This will let the computer know that we're going to jump into these questions. And we're going to make a movie clip for this question 10. So I'm going to call it STP as in step, capital S, Q as in question, QU10 underscore MC, go to and stop, open bracket, to close bracket, semicolon, and as I said, there's a close curly bracket. Copy that, paste it in, and where you see a one, change it to two here. Make this say trace for two, and this stays the same and this stays the same. So this will be for player one, this will be for player two. And now we gotta allow these regular ones to work if that question variable is still a zero. So for that we gotta put click here right after that entry we just made before this if put a couple enters and type 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 
it says if open bracket question that's the variable we made equals equals zero close bracket that means it isn't a the, the player did not end up on a special block that asked the question and it's asking you now are you on one of those special blocks that you have to move forward or back without a question being asked there's the open bracket for this if and if I go down the bottom after all these I think we have one on 41 or something like that all these right here after this check I better check with that pause it's after all of this right here at the very end is my closed curly bracket now instead of us waiting and waiting and waiting for this 10 to be dialed up or to an, for a number to be, to be dialed up I would have to be very lucky in playing this game and end up on square 10 to allow something to happen so I'm going to sort of cheat it for now to make it happen automatically um, open up the library open up this wheel movie clip let's go up to this frame here which is um, 48 in my case open the actions panel and here this one is what the spin would be if we if you landed on one but we wanted to tell it it's a 10 so we're putting 10 in there if I go up to here open the actions panel we're putting a 10 in here now let's open this little thing here click on wheel that's uh, 52 I now want 56 frame 56 and make that a 10 this will save us a whole lot of work testing these out frame 60 make this a 10 that's where we're going to change this back 64 make this a 10 and 68 make this a 10 go back close this up and go back to scene one back to the main timeline for now I'm selecting the third frame here if I check I think that's called move yeah and I'm making sure that I can get at all the layers and I'm clicking from here all the way down I'm on the one after the move I think which is called add I'm coming right down getting all that coming off it going back and getting that fuzzy square thing move it one to the right and there it is there select this frame right here the new one we made insert or convert to blank keyframe so there's nothing into it I'm going to just check make sure this is called move and I want to make sure this one here is called add yeah so this one here I'm going to call fill F-I-L-L -L. and we need this because when I if I told you to go back to move some of my parameters won't have been able to be checked uh, this way here when I come back from the movie clip spin it'll jump into this fill and this fill will send it back to here allowing this action script to be carried out click on this actions layer frame and convert to blank keyframe select this new action frame open the action panel and type 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 it's stop open close bracket semicolon I'm going to trace what's called my global question and that's actually going to display those words this is going to trace the actual value here I want to have an if open bracket which player equals equals one close bracket that's means it actually means player one is 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 playing open curly bracket player position equals player position plus my global question we've already covered that that's what's what's upgrading it to the to the spin close uh, semicolon and we're going to trace those two things trace 
open bracket, quotation, player position one, close quotation, close bracket, semicolon. That's the text, and this is going to trace the actual value. So close curly bracket, copy that, paste it, change the one to a minus one, change these to position two, this here two. There's the closed curly bracket and the open curly bracket for the if. And this says go to and play open bracket quotation spin close quotation close bracket semicolon. This is what allows us to go back to do the next spin. Um, I think I'd have some problems if I tried it, but I'm going to just try it. I think I'm going to have some problems. Yep. Yeah, I have access of an undefined property, step question, movie clip. That means I didn't give something an instance name. I'm back on the main timeline, and if I look on frame three of the actions panel, open the actions panel, up here, way up here in this check bu button, this check move function, I talked about a movie clip right there, STPQ10, QU10. And I never uh, made it, so therefore it can't have an instance name. So that's like what I have to do next is make that that movie clip. So I'm back to the main timeline. I'm selecting the. I'm locking. It, make sure all my layers are locked. I'm selecting this um, num step layer, inserting a layer, and I'm calling it. I think I want to call it. Better look and see what this go in here copy that. I'm copying that name and paste it in here and get rid of this movie call clip word and just call it step question 10. It's frame 3 I need it to be on so therefore I'm going to select frame 3 insert a blank keyframe and I'm pulling this down. I'm making my stage 25%. Picking up my rectangle tool. I have blue for my fill, black for my stroke. And I'm just making a rectangle right on top of that for now. Uh, modify. I'll pick up my selection tool up here modify excuse me highlight it modify convert it to a symbol make sure button is selected actually movie clip is selected and put in that name stp q10 underscore mc okay and in the properties panel let's paste it in there and that will get rid of that error I think let's do that first okay we don't have the error let's test test it when I test it it's going to stop but it's, it doesn't matter what it stop regardless of what it stop as it's going to take me to frame 10 and that says that right down here frame 10 Okay, so that's so far so good. Let's double click on this movie clip. So now we're inside of it. On this frame here, call this the, just call it the BG as in background, for example. That's the background, that's that blue. Um, come here to frame two, insert a keyframe. Insert the keyframe. Go back to frame one. Unlock it. Pick up your free transform tool. Highlight this. And for now, make it very small. Lock them layers. Insert a layer. Call it button. B-U-T as in button. Select frame two. Insert a blank keyframe and 
select that frame one, or excuse me, select that frame two. For now, open up your rectangle, pick some color other than blue for your fill. I'll pick a light color. I'm just gonna make a line, there it is there. Picking up my selection tool, modify, oops, highlight it. Make sure just that highlights, modify, convert it to a symbol, make sure movie clip is selected, and type, 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 give it this name. R-E-T-Q-U-E 10, capital R. This is like as in return for question 10. Underscore MC, copy that, close it. While it's highlighted, open the properties panel and paste that in for an instance name. Now, when that talks about that question 10, that's what you're talking about. Lock that, insert a layer, call it action script, AS. Select these two frames, right click, convert to blank keyframes. Select keyframe one, open the actions panel and type, 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 type. Stop, open and close bracket semicolon and here is that that um, variable quest um, variable we're, we're making so that we can link it to the main timeline. So it's all global quest colon movie clip equals movie clip open bracket root close bracket semicolon. We've already done this before. And let's go back and do frame two of the actions layer. Type, 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 type. Stop, open bracket, close bracket, semicolon. Here's the function set up for that new button I made. Uh, R-E-T-Q-U-E 10 underscore MC. You know about this, all the same. You know about all this by now. Here's the function called re re return Q10. That's it there. And we're gonna do a few things here in case we need them. We're gonna trace uh, in quotations inside question 10 movie clips. So when I actually press this button, I'll get this trace to know that I'm actually clicking that button. And we're going to do a few things. We're going to make this global question, period my global question, equal to three. Okay, this is what links the two variables to together, the one we just made on this movie clip and the one that's on the main timeline. Uh, this says movie clip, open bracket, parent, close bracket, period, go to and play. And we're going to go to play the, that new frame we called fill. At the same time, on its own movie clip, we want to go back to frame one and stop. So let's see if this works. This is quite a bit. Hopefully no errors. I spin it, start it, and stop it. It doesn't matter where I stop it. It's going to come up with a 10 because we fixed it. This guy can go over to 10. Now I'm going to say check. There's the, going to be the question. This will be a, end up being an answer. So I click it, and it jumps back and returns saying down here that I should be adding three to what ten was, and that the player should end up on thirteen. It was here. I'm I'm giving them credit of three points for getting it right, and it goes up to thirteen. So the next one we got to get it to actually move. I think that's enough for now. Hope you're getting something from these tutorials.